Hey guys, thank you for buying our e-learning course on API 1169 Pipeline Construction Inspector. In Module 1, we'll introduce you to our e-learning services and benefits. You shall know about API certification, how to apply and what you should expect on exam day. If you have any query, please write to us info at qualityinspector.co.uk call us our number is on our website qualityinspector.co.uk or use our chat line this course has been prepared by training and inspection services limited line course what's included complete coverage of body of knowledge extensive flashcard mock exam online support 12 years open book documents highlighted lots of pictures and half a dozen video clips why us? We shall provide you with all the concept and knowledge you need to know in order to pass the API 1169 exam. This includes all the body of knowledge explained and highlighted. We have highlighted and included the 12 US open book safety and environmental documents for your ease since they are not copyrighted. We shall provide you with flashcards for quick reference. We shall provide you with mock exam questions that are specifically designed in line with the spirit of API 1169 exam questions. Our course content goes through several checkpoints to ensure that it's easy to understand. It is focused on the body of knowledge and is in line with ISO 29990 learning services for non-formal education and training basic requirements for service providers so you know what you are expected to learn at the end of each module our course editors are all qualified api 1169 inspectors and engineers who edit the course based on the latest revision addendum addendums who have years of industry experience while many of our uh, 1169 course auditing team members have passed the exam for the past three years so we are fairly up to date there are two definite leads to help you understand what type of question to expect during examination these are api 1169 pipeline construction inspector body of knowledge and experience of other candidates who attempted the exam regardless of which study plan you may wish to take or which training course you opt for these leads shall help you to focus your efforts and do the pulse check to ensure that you are on the right track we do not claim that our e-learning courses are the only option to pass the exam nor we claim that our courses would substitute studying reference code standards and recommended practices however we do claim being one of the best api training providers because we shall explain the a to z of registering preparing and attending the api 1169 exam this module explain terms and definition in an easy to understand format complete with pictures provide you with sufficient detail so no matter what is your level of knowledge in each topic you shall have the complete information and knowledge explain 1169 in an easy to understand and comprehensive way and also highlight the areas where potential exam questions may come provide you with sets of mock exams in line with api exam question support you through a chat line where you can ask any question from our instructors or you may need any query regarding a specific topic how to apply so API examination are actually two main groups, core exam, API 510, 570, 653, and non-core exam, 571, 1169, 577, 936, TES, C, CIF, and SIR. All API examination are held three times a year, and each API certification has a two-week exam window that you can uh, should choose from at the time of registration. After registration and approval by API, your two weeks exam window is frozen and you can only select the location, date and time at a Prometric test center. Seats are limited at your preferred uh, Prometric location, so select the date and time as soon as you can. Note, Prometric is subcontracted by API to hold the computer-based examination. The deadline to get API authorization email is approximately 2 months or 10 weeks prior to the selected test window. 
to get the API approval in order to sit for a particular te test, file the application form by registering with API ICP by using the below link or go to API ICP portal. Create an account and then upload the supporting documents, your qualification and certification. Provide two references and pay the fee. API shall verify your claimed experience by contacting via email the two references you have provided. It is recommended to brief your references so they know which inspection fields and for how long you have claimed the experience for. This would avoid any discrepancy that may result from your claimed experience against their verification. There are more than 3,000 parametric testing centers worldwide to choose from. All parametric test centers operate on a first-come, first-served basis. Therefore, API cannot promise that you will be able to obtain a seat at your preferred location. It is highly recommended that you schedule your exam immediately after receiving your exam authorization notice email from API. If seats not available, try a different date within the same window or choose another location. Please note that during registration with API, you are required to select one of the available two weeks window. Once this window is selected, you cannot change it, which means you can only attend the exam within the selected two week window, unless you decide to reschedule and uh, pay the fees, which is as good as failing the exam. Remember, no show and failing to book a t seat or even inability to book a seat at your preferred test center is as good as failing the exam itself. Although the deadline to get your application approved prior to your selected test window is around two months, you might not be able to find a suitable place uh, or date or worse, you might not be get a seat at your favorite test center within the allocated two week window if you receive your approval too late. So it is recommended that you register and get your API approval at least three months prior to scheduled exam. That is, do not choose the next immediate test window, but choose the one that is at least three to four months away. Especially important for this advice for core exam <coughs> that need a full day slot. For other API exams, such as API 1169, there is normally a good chance of getting a convenient test location and date at the next available test window. You can change the location and date up to 30 days free of charge and between 5 to 29 days uh, for a fee of 70 US dollars subject to availability. Normally it's possible to change the time and location for API 1169. API gives each candidate 12 con consecutive months to pass an exam beginning from the first scheduled scheduled test window. This means you can attempt an exam for a maximum of four times. If you do not pass the exam within a year for any reason, such as exam failure, fail to schedule the exam, no show up at the scheduled date, etc., you have to apply all over again and pay the full fees. Uh, one of our trainees uh, received the API 570 notification seven months before the selected test window, but attempted to book with parametric only two months prior to the test window. As a result, his closest parametric test center was already full, so he had to fly to another city to attend the exam. So it's strongly recommended that you book your place as soon as you receive the API authorization notice because it is on first come, first serve basis. Okay, let's see how much it costs. API 1169 certification, recertification, rescheduling, and cost. So the initial exam is $480. After three years, you have to apply demonstrating that you have worked 20% of your time as API 1169 inspector and pay $360. You may apply up to 90 days prior to your certificate expiration date and up to 90 days after the expiry of certificate called grace period so if after the grace period yeah, you cannot recertify yourself you have to apply all over again and pay the initial fee of $480 if you fail the exam then it is $150 for reschedule exam day make sure you reach the parametric center at least half an hour before the scheduled time if you reach the test center 15 minutes after the exam they may refuse to admit you uh, before to let you in, they will check your photographic uh, government issued ID, such as a driving license or a passport, ask you to sign in, 
check you with a metal detector, ask you to turn up your sleeves and trousers, check your pockets, look at your reading glasses to ensure it doesn't have any camera, and ask your security question, date of birth, email address, and then take your picture. You cannot carry anything with you except a bottle of water, no ornaments allowed except a bedding ring. They shall supply you with a couple of green color size A4 size papers and a pencil for taking notes plus a simple calculator. You are required to have a valid government issued photo identity card such as a passport, driving license and keep it with yourself during the exam. If you don't produce a government photo ID that is valid, you will be refused entry. During API 653, one of our candidates had an expired driving license, was refused entry. By the time he returned with his valid password, it was too late. So we had to pay rescheduling of $300 and wait another six months to pass the test. So as a plan B, we recommend that you carry two government issued photo ID. Prior to examination, you shall be given key to a locker to keep your belongings. You are not allowed to use the locker until you have completed the exam. Immediately after the exam, you shall receive your result. That would be a preliminary pass, which is normally a pass, and a marginal result, too close to call, uh, and a preliminary fail, uh, which is normally a fail. This is because they scale the exam, so uh, although the pass mark is 70 percent, but it could be 69, 68, or 71 uh, percent. This is to maintain the degree of difficulty across all the exam windows. Uh, so you shall receive your confirmed score up to eight weeks after the uh, last day of two week examination window. Sometimes sooner, takes another six to eight weeks to receive your certification and wallet card if you pass. Uh, make sure that you have answered all the questions Click the review all button and peruse through, through the list to ensure that you have not skipped any question because there is no negative marking. Um, you can challenge any question you may wish while writing on his comment sheet, but please note that uh, the clock keeps running. So you shall be spending the exam allocated time to fill in the comment sheet. After ID verification, security check and letting you to the exam room, you will go through the tutorial that lasts for maximum 10 minutes or earlier. We have also provided the link and you can also see the tutorial in the API ICP portal. Um, so, or if you press the end session button, it will finish and the exam automatically starts, the actual exam. The 12 US and 9 Canadian safety and environmental reference document PDF format is available on the computer screen. You may cho choose either of the set. The word search is disabled, so you should know how to navigate between documents. That's for each question. You should know which document and which section you should look for. At least one question should be given from each open book reference, either US or Canadian open book reference. The question are fairly simple and straightforward, but you should have a fair idea what reference document each reference document covers, pay special attention to tables. We have highlighted those open book reference documents and brought them in module 16. The most important uh, open book US reference documents are 49, CFR 9192 and 195, and OSHA 29, 1910, uh, and 1926. For the list of Canadian US open book reference, please use the, the below link and go to the bottom of page to download or you go to API ICP portal and you can find it there. We have also included them in the body of e-learning highlighting potential exam questions. Remember, if during the exam you wish to leave the examination room for say using the toilet, you need to take your ID with you, report to the security outside the examination room and sign out. On return, you should, shall go through the same initial security check and sign in. During all this time, the clock is running. So use your time wisely. Uh, remember, your exam is not con concluded until your time is up. You run out of time or when you press the end exam button, which asks you for confirmation to ensure that you have not passed it, pressed it ac accidentally. 
You shall also use the list of attempted non-attempted question at the end by pressing review all button. This would ensure that you have not left any question unanswered. There is a frequently asked question in Prometric website that is quite useful. We brought the link here as well. There is a tutorial to explain how the buttons work. We brought the link here and you can go to API CPM find it out. As we say it's a 10 minutes. You can flag off any question you are not sure of and come back to that later. You can right click on selected answer to eliminate them if you are confident that they are definitely wrong answer. So you can uh, concentrate and focus on a possible right remaining right answer, possible right answer. You can either review all question once again or review the flagged off question only during any remaining time left. Thank you for listening.